morning my name is yam narsimha rao lecturer in physics today i am explaining intensity of electric field due to uniformly charged disc on its axis for visualization it is a uniformly charged disc charge is distributed uniformly total amount of the charge on this disc is a capital q is the axis of the for this uniformly charged disc it is the axis of the uniformly charged disc let us consider it is one observation point at this observation point we are finding the intensity of electric field due to the entire charge which is on the circular disc is the combination of smaller rings this is the uniformly charged disc this uniformly charged disc is the combination of the smaller rings smaller rings of concentric center center is same for all the rings center is same for all the rings it is the one smaller ring which is containing small amount of charge it is another ring which is containing small amount of charge it is another ring which is containing small amount of charge similarly this total disc is the combination of the smaller rings with the concentric center we are calling as the concentric ring center is same for all the rings consider small ring let us consider small ring which is containing small amount of charge due to this small ring i will find the intensity of electric field intensity of electric field on the observation point small amount of electric field is developed along the axis similarly i will find the intensity of electric field at, at the observation point due to this ring again i am finding the intensity of electric field at this point due to this ring now integrating by all we are getting total amount of electric field which is uniformly charged now the now the disc is plane of the disc is perpendicular to the axis now let us consider uniformly charged disc charge is distributed equally at all points in all areas the total charge is a capital q the radius of the disc is a capital r this is the this cap this total disc is divided into small rings with the center o for all this is one ring it is another ring it is another ring now this disc is the combination of concentric rings due to this ring due to this ring some amount of electric field is produced at the observation point which is on the axis of the disc due to this ring some amount of electric field is produced at the observation point which is on the axis similarly all rings are producing electric field at the observation point by adding all those electric fields by integrating all those electric fields we are getting the total amount of electric field at the observation point p which is on the axis of the circular disc this axis is perpendicular to the plane of the charged disc here 
सिग्मा रिप्रेजेंट्स द सरफेस चार्ज डेंसिटी सिग्मा रिप्रेजेंट्स द सरफेस चार्ज डेंसिटी दैट इज इक्वल्स टू डी क्यू बाय डी ए डी क्यू रिप्रेजेंट्स द चार्ज प्रेजेंट ऑन दिस स्मॉलर रिंग टोटल चार्ज ऑन द डिस्क इज क्यू डी क्यू रिप्रेजेंट्स द चार्ज प्रेजेंट ऑन दिस स्मॉलर रिंग ऑन क्रॉस हियर नो वन इज देयर आई एम राइटिंग वन वन इनटू डी क्यू वन इनटू डी क्यू डी क्यू दैट इज इक्वल्स टू डी क्यू इज इक्वल्स टू वन इनटू डी क्यू डी क्यू दैट इज इक्वल सिग्मा इनटू डी ए सिग्मा इनटू डी ए नाउ दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर वन डी क्यू मींस इट इज द स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ चार्ज which is present on this smaller ring with the center o with the center o now i am finding the this area of this smaller ring area of this smaller ring now i am finding the area of this smaller ring area of the smaller ring now you cut you cut this smaller ring you cut this a smaller ring now this is the perimeter of the ring perimeter of the ring is 2 pi r nothing but the length of the ring nothing but the length of the ring length of the charged ring is nothing but perimeter not, that is equals to 2 pi r b a means b a means area of this ring with the center o area means length into breadth length into breadth b a is equals to length length of this circular ring length means perimeter perimeter is 2 pi r length means 2 pi smaller the reason is this ring having the radius smaller capital r is total radius of the disc smaller represents the radius of the circular ring now i am talking about the ring its radius is smaller length means length of the ring nothing but 2 pi r breadth breadth means this one only it is a nothing but dr it is the breadth breadth it is a small breadth it is a dr now small area of the ring area of the ring which is the part of the disc that is equals to 2 pi r into dr it is equation number 2 dq represents charge on this ring with the center o da represents area of this ring with the center o now on this ring small amount of charge is present due to that charge some L electric field is produced at the point p p is the observation point on the axis of the circular disc this circular ring very thin ring it is containing small amount of charge this circular ring is containing small amount of charge this ring is producing a small amount of electric field at the point p at the point p now that is given by intensity of electric field intensity of electric field intensity of electric field at the observation point p at the observation point at the observation point p on the axis of on the axis of intensity of electric field at the observation point p on the axis of circular disc 
we know one formula this is the charged ring it produces some electric field at the at the observation point p which is on the axis that is given by the formula e is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught q x by r square plus x square whole power 3 by 2 this is a formula only it is a formula only now this ring is producing small amount of electric field at this point small amount of electric field is represented by d suffix e that is equals to 1 by 4 pi epsilon not is a constant this total i am writing as a capital k Q means charge on this ring. A small amount of charge is present. Small amount of charge is represented by D Q. Q means a small amount of charge on the ring. That is a D Q. D Q means D Q. Yes. At this point, at this point, we are finding electric field. This point is at a distance of x. at a distance of x from the center of the ring or center of the disc x means a distance here also distance is x by r means radius we are considering this ring its radius is a small r its radius is a small r small r square plus x square Hold to the power of three by two. Electric field is on the axis of the ring, on the axis of the disc, away from the center, along OP, along along OP direction. This is equation number three. This is the small amount of charge on this ring. This is the small small area of the ring. This is the Electric field produced on the axis of the ring at this point due to the circular ring of charge D Q. Small ring with the center O producing the small amount of electric field at the observation point P, which is on the axis. Now. the disc is containing a large number of the smaller concentric rings now total amount of electric field at the center of the circular disc due to the all these smaller rings is by integrating this we are getting the total amount of electric field at the observation point p total amount of electric field total amount of electric field total amount of electric field capital e total amount of electric field is capital e small amount of electric field is d total amount of electric field at the observation point at the point at the point p at the point p due to entire entire disc is equals to integrating this one integrating this one integration of de that is equals to integral of k into dq into x dq into x by r square plus x square Hold to the power of three by two. Hold to the power of three by two along OP direction. Now, 
here lower limit is zero upper limit is capital r lower limit is zero upper limit capital r differentiation integration cancel now total amount of electric field at the observation point p is equals to integral of k i am writing k dq it is the small amount of charge which is present on the ring dq already we got dq is equals to dq is equals to sigma into da already we got starting only dq is equals to sigma into da dq is equals to sigma into area length into breadth length is 2 pi r length is 2 pi r breadth is dr now this is the total value dq here k i am writing k dq dq means sigma into 2 pi r into dr sigma into 2 pi r into dr into dr x i am writing x i am writing x by by r square plus x square r square plus x square whole power 3 by 2 lower limit is 0 upper limit capital r intensity of electric field e is equals to k is a constant taken outside sigma is constant taken outside x this is a distance is a fix x is constant x is a taken outside 2 pi 2 is a number constant pi 22 by 7 constant 2 pi it is constant taken outside outside remaining is integral of 0 to capital r k taken outside sigma taken outside 2 pi taken outside x taken remaining is r into dr by r square plus x square whole to the power of 3 by 2 along op now we have to do the integration cbse 12th class students or puc second year students in your mathematics now you are perfect with the integration now let us consider let was to r square plus x square r square plus x square differentiating on both sides x is the distance x represents a distance it is 10 cm 20 cm or 30 cm it is constant x is constant differentiating on both side t square ka differentiation 2t dt r square ka differentiation 2r dr 2 to gets cancelled t dt is equals to r into dr r into dr this is equation number 3 now we have to change the limits of integration now i am talking about the limits for the limits for limits if if small r is equal to 0 this small r is equals to 0 substitute this value in this equation 
t square is equal to r square plus x square. t square is equal to r is zero. r is zero. Zero square means zero plus x square. That is nothing but x square. Square square cancelled. t is equal to x. t is equal to if r is equal to zero, t is equal to x. If if small r is equal to capital R, if this radius is equal to capital R, then then substitute this value in this equation. T square is equal to r square plus x square. T square is equal to a small r. Small r means capital R. Capital R square plus x square. Small t is equal to under root of r square plus x square. Now I am rewriting this equation. Capital E means intensity of electric field at the observation point P due to the entire charge to the disc. Capital E is equal to capital E is capital E is equal to capital E is equal to k into sigma into x into two pi k into sigma into x into two pi two pi integral of lower limit zero lower limit zero r is equal to zero you write in terms of t you write a x you write a x upper limit capital r upper limit capital r you have to convert into t t now upper limit capital r in the place of capital r you write uh, under root of r square plus x square under root of r square plus x square now r into dr r into dr r into dr it is nothing but t into dt r into dr it is nothing but t into dt now here r into dr t into dt t into dt now by by r square plus x square r square plus x square means t square r square plus x square means t square r square plus x square means t square whole power 3 by 2 whole power 3 by 2 capital E is equals to k into sigma into x into 2 pi into lower limit x upper limit r square plus x square now t into dt by now 2 to gets cancelled 2 to gets cancelled 2 to gets cancelled t cube t cube i am writing t into t square 2 to gets cancelled t cube t cube i am writing as t into t square t t gets cancelled capital e is equals to k into sigma into x into 2 pi into integral of 1 by t square 1 by t square into dt lower limit x upper limit r square plus mathematics knowledge we are having one formula integral of 1 by t square dt is equals to minus 1 by t. In integration there is a formula. Integral of 1 by t square dt is equal to minus 1 by t. Applying that one. E is equals to k into sigma into x into x into 2 pi into 
इंटीग्रल ऑफ वन बाई टी स्क्वायर डी टी इंटीग्रल ऑफ वन बाई टी स्क्वायर डी टी इज इक्वल माइनस वन बाई टी टोटल आई एम राइटिंग एस माइनस वन बाई टी अपर लिमिट आर स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर लोअर लिमिट इज एक्स नाउ कैपिटल ई इज इक्वस्ट कैपिटल ई इज इक्वस्ट k into sigma k into sigma into x into two pi two pi two pi here whenever whenever you are substituting the limits upper limit minus lower limit minus one I am writing minus one in the place of t you write upper limit. In the place of t, you write upper limit. T means under root of under root of r square plus x square minus. I am writing minus here. You see upper limit minus lower limit minus k minus one k one. In the place of t, you write upper limit under root of r square plus x square. Upper limit minus lower limit minus one के minus one by t means you write lower limit lower limit is x capital E is equals to k into sigma into x into two pi into here Na, my, minus one by under root of r square plus x square minus into minus plus one by x. I am writing one by x. Intensity of electric field E is equals to k into sigma into x into two pi into here this one by x. I am writing one by x. Minus one by under root of r square plus x square. Here I am multiplying with one. Here I am multiplying with x and dividing with x. Numerator is multiplied with x. Denominator is multiplied with x. No change in the value. Here, capital E is equals to k into sigma into x into two pi into one by x. I am taking a common. One by x. I am taking a common. One by x. One by x. A common. One by x. I am taking a common. One by x is taken outside. Remaining is one minus one by x is taken outside. One by x is taken outside. Remaining is x by under root of r square plus x square. X x cancelled. X x cancelled. E is equals to two pi k. Two pi k sigma into one minus x by under root of r square plus x square. The direction is along the axis of the disc, which is perpendicular to the plane of the disc along along OP. K is a constant. K is a constant. K is equals to one by four pi epsilon naught. It is a constant. Now I am substituting this value in this equation. Total amount of electric field at the point P is equals to two pi sigma, two pi sigma k. K means one by four pi epsilon naught. One by four pi epsilon naught into one minus x by 
अंडर रूट ऑफ आर स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर नाउ पाई पाई गेट्स कैंसिल टू वन जा टू टू जा इज इक्वल्स टू सिग्मा बाय टू एप्सिलॉन नॉट इनटू वन माइनस एक्स बाय अंडर रूट ऑफ आर स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर now this is the intensity of electric field due to the entire charged disk at the observation point p which is on the axis of the circular disk that axis is perpendicular to the this axis is perpendicular to the plane of the disk now this is the intensity of electric field formula on the axis of the circular disk suppose this observation point is very close to the center suppose if the observation point is very close to the center very close to the center means this distance is equal to zero if the observation point special case if the observation point is if the observation point is very close to center of charged disk this point is very close to the center and this point is present here and this distance is equal to zero that is x is equal to zero capital e is equals to sigma by 2 epsilon not into 1 minus x x means zero By under root of r square plus e x square e is equals to sigma by two epsilon not zero by anything zero zero by anything zero total it is zero remaining is one e is that is equal to sigma by two epsilon not the direction is along op that is nothing but the direction of electric field is along the axis of the circular disk axis of the circular disk is perpendicular to the plane of the disk now intensity of electric field e is equal to sigma by 2 epsilon not this formula is similar to the intensity of electric field of uniformly charged sheet infinite charged sheet right the direction of electric field is perpendicular to the plane of the charged disk e is equal to sigma by 2 epsilon not the direction of electric field is along op this formula is similar to the intensity of electric field of uniformly charged infinite sheet now sigma means what surface charge density surface charge density of the disk sigma means surface charge density of the disk sigma is equal to charge per unit area total charge by total area sigma is equal to total charge is q by total area total area total area of the disk is pi r square e is equals to e is equals to sigma sigma means q by pi r square 
q by pi r square q by pi okay, sigma sigma means q by pi r square 2 epsilon naught 1 minus x by under root of r square plus x square here e is equals to q q by 2 pi r square sigma 1 minus x by under root of r square plus x square along op along op the direction of electric field is along the x of the circular disc this observation this axis is perpendicular to the plane of disc thank you